streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter on this Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Checking in first and foremost with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. Uh, Bill, our weather is looking pretty good. Your forecast, I'm giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, uh, when you look at the eight day, which yeah. you might have to wait a few minutes to see that, but uh, most days above average. Uh, so that's going to be kind of a nice change compared to how the month of April has started. By the way, it's nice to be back with y'all. <laughs> we had a, quite the windstorm uh, in my neck of the woods over the weekend. Hurricane force winds knocked us uh, knocked our power out for 28 hours and the internet and uh, Wi-Fi even longer than that. But uh, we're all good now and no damage to the house. So that was good. All right. Yesterday, of course, everybody trying to see that partial solar eclipse. Unfortunately, the cloud cover did not cooperate in most spots, keeping temperatures in the low to mid 50s. A few brief glimpses of partial clearing enough to snap a few photos of that uh, partial solar eclipse for some of you. Uh, milder temperatures down to the south and east where they saw a lot of sunshine, a lot more sunshine than we did with readings in the low 60s. Uh, mostly cloudy now. We had some light rain showers move through overnight. 55 and 45 the numbers from yesterday. Averages are 57 and 36. Sunrise time this morning at 631. And we'll see kind of a mix of clouds and sun as those rain showers have now lifted into far northeastern Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan. Current temperatures range from 37 in Barroqua to 44 in La Crosse and Bosqueville. And again, a little milder today. Still a bit breezy, though. Highs in La Crosse around 61 degrees. I will have that eight-day forecast coming up a little bit later. Stay tuned. And that is a forecast you want to see, so stick around. Thank you, Bill. This morning, abortion is back front and center in the 2024 presidential race after former President Donald Trump yesterday declined to throw his support behind a national abortion ban. Instead, he said the contentious issue should be left up to the states. That Trump announcement bringing criticism from some prominent members of his own party, as well as from the Biden-Harris campaign. CBS News' Jared Hill has the latest for us from New York. This morning, former President Donald Trump is facing backlash from his base with his latest stance on abortion instead of supporting a federal ban, punting to the states. Whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Staunch Trump ally, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, in a rare public rebuttal, posted he respectfully disagrees with Trump's take, again pushing for a federal 15-week ban. The former president fired back, writing Graham is, quote, doing a great disservice to the Republican Party. I was surprised. Marjorie Dannenfelser of Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America says she's disappointed by the former president's decision not to endorse a national ban. But after a phone call with Trump yesterday, she believes that he could change his mind. I actually do think that he will get there. President Biden and Vice President Harris made similar arguments yesterday. If my Republicans put a federal ban on his desk, he'd sign it. They vowed to restore federal abortion rights. It's okay. And just hours after Trump's announcement, the Biden campaign released a new ad featuring a Texas woman who is denied abortion services following a miscarriage. An Arizona court is expected to announce a decision today on whether to keep a 2022 law that allows abortions up to 15 weeks or reinstate a Civil War era near ban on the procedure. The issue will also be on the ballot this November in states like Florida, Maryland and New York. President Biden in Madison yesterday announcing a new plan to cancel to cancel thousands of dollars of student debt for millions of Americans. The plan focuses on high interest rates, providing relief for borrowers who now owe more than their original loan was worth. The loan forgiveness would apply to people who have been paying undergrad loans for 20 years or more or grad student loans over the last 25 years. It also applies to those already eligible for loan forgiveness and for borrowers who can prove financial hardships, prevent them from repaying their loans. I will never stop to deliver student debt relief on hardworking Americans, and it's only in the interest of America that we do it. And again, it's for the good of our economy. Some legal challenges to the plan are expected. The Supreme Court struck down a previous attempt by the Biden administration to forgive hundreds of millions in student loans. This smaller, more targeted plan will still require a months long public comment period before it can take effect, narrowing the chances it'll be implemented before Election Day.
Five people are dead following a Sunday morning crash in Columbia County. In a Facebook post, the Columbia County Sheriff says a pickup truck and passenger car were traveling in opposite directions on Highway 60. There were four people in the car and one person in the pickup. The car crossed the center line, officials say, and struck the pickup truck head on. The sheriff says four people died at the scene. One passenger was taken to the hospital and later died. The investigation into the crash continues. A shed fire in a West Salem trailer park damaged two nearby homes yesterday. According to crews, the blaze started around 5 p.m. in a trailer park off West Avenue North. They believe it was an electrical fire. You see all the damage there. Nobody was hurt, but the siding did melt off two trailers. The siding melted off two trailers on either side of the shed. Deputies in Chippewa County say the conduct of Sheriff Travis Hakes last year has cast an embarrassing shadow on their department. That's according to a new statement from the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. The deputies say they are troubled by the impact of Hakes actions and don't condone them. A report last year accused Hakes of sending unwanted and inappropriate messages to a new employee. While the district attorney did not find sufficient evidence for criminal charges, the Chippewa County Board expressed no confidence in the sheriff. Hakes has now agreed to not participate in the department's criminal investigations per the deputy statement. All eyes were on the skies at Winona State University yesterday for the big show, the eclipse. The celestial spectacle reached its peak coverage about 2 p.m., but the event started at 1230, so visitors could witness the partial eclipse from start to finish. One WSU professor noted that such cosmic occurrences provide a chance to pause and reflect. I love any opportunity I get to bring people together to kind of look up and just stop and think about all the stuff that's going on in the solar system that we normally don't even notice because we're so busy going about our normal day. The watch party provided special glasses, telescopes and pinhole projectors so viewers could look safely at the eclipse. And history was in the making yesterday as people across the country looked up to the skies to catch a glimpse of the total solar eclipse. Here in La Crosse, people gathered to don their eclipse glasses in Riverside Park. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall recaps it for us. Corinna Deeren and her friends missed school to see the solar eclipse. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to see like a full eclipse this close to us. Other spectators, including Liz Weber, were supposed to see the eclipse in Indiana. But those plans fell through. You know, people couldn't go and I wasn't going to make the trip by myself, so I'm going to enjoy what I got here. This was the first one in nearly seven years. The last total solar eclipse was in 2017. The difference between the two, the path of totality. Wisconsin wasn't in it again this time. That didn't stop crowds from gathering. People, including James Konachek, even brought their telescope. We're not being, being too successful with this. Uh, once in a while we get a break in the clouds, but that's it. We don't see much of anything. So Was this successful the last time? Oh yeah, 2017 was beautiful. Yeah, we were set up over there and we saw we saw the limb. Some are making the trip from Minneapolis. We wanted to uh, join community and uh, experience this with you guys over here. Despite being overcast, people saw what they were hoping for. In La Crosse, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now This Morning. Anyone who missed this solar eclipse, you'll have to wait a while. The next one, the next total one, is not until 2044. The time now is 6.07. Still ahead on your morning news, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, the nation's largest bank, is offering a warning this morning about this year's economic forecast. We'll tell you why he says inflation is not going anywhere. And with the deadline to file income taxes coming up on April 15th, it's officially crunch time if you haven't filed your taxes yet. We'll take a closer look at that and have some helpful tips for getting those taxes filed. That and more coming up. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Head on over to your local library and thank the staff who work there because today is National Library Workers Day. The holiday takes place on the Tuesday of National Library Week. Library workers are masters of research and creativity. They can help you find the right resources for a school paper and help you polish up your resume. Library staff also known for fun ways to encourage reading among children. Despite their importance, libraries constantly see their budgets shrink. So it's a good time to thank the enterprising people who are doing so much more 
with less. Yes, thank you all. And don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now This Morning is after the break. Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. When you're ready to get out and prep your yard for spring, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with a $100 purchase of Scott's products. Like Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer, $69.99 after sale and rebate. Plus, update your spring style with women's Alfred Dunner Fashion Collections, half price. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's easy to see when you have a plumbing problem, but when it comes to your water, things aren't always so clear. Without water conditioning, your water may be doing more harm than good. Hard water can damage your pipes and appliances, leave spotting on dishes, as well as dry out your skin and hair. Contact the professionals at Maxwell White. More than a plumbing company, we offer comprehensive water conditioning. That's two great services under one roof. Enjoy cleaner dishes, softer and brighter clothes, and much more with a simple call to Maxwell White. Water conditioning done right. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Sometimes in louder situations, it's tough to hear what others are saying. We just thought, why not get a baseline so that we know where we're at? I think the staff is very friendly. They live here in our community. They care about the people that live here. They want to help people here better. I feel like we're in the business of keeping people's eyes healthy, but I feel like keeping your ears healthy is, is also very important, and uh, all of our senses are important. Better Hearing Center on Alaska, next to St. Pat's Church. Welcome back and a good Tuesday morning to it is 612. Your school cast for this Tuesday, April 9th does include kind of a mix of clouds and sun through the day. 42 degrees at 7 a.m. 52 by lunchtime afternoon highs around 61. So a little warmer than yesterday and a little bit above average as well. So not a bad day to uh, walk the dog or be out and about uh, for today with that mix of clouds and sun. Still a little bit breezy at times. Uh, Sophie Lynn, very cute shot. Thanks to Carolyn for that. Uh, Sophie Lynn is uh, two years old. Old, probably hoping to uh, walk around uh, the, lo uh, the location uh, for today. And uh, again, it's going to be a good day for that. Now we're starting with a mostly cloudy sky. We had some very light showers overnight that have now moved out of the, out of the area. Mix of clouds and sun today. A little step back on Thursday with cooler conditions and a chance of rain showers, but then warmer for the weekend. And right now the weekend's looking dry as well. Could be a really nice one with temperatures reaching uh, highs in the 70s in many spots. Now those showers overnight, again, they were light and kind of hit and miss. Those have moved northeast into northeastern parts of the state and up into the UP of Michigan. Otherwise, just some leftover clouds left behind. 40 degrees right now in Sparta, 43 in Winona, 42 in Eau Claire. 44 in the cross, couple of 37s in Decorah and Baroqua. So a mix of clouds and sun today, still a bit breezy. Westerly winds 5 to 15, gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour. Again, highs in the cross right around 61. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast. That's coming up in about three and a half minutes.
In your consumer news this morning, the head of the country's largest bank warned of several economic challenges yesterday. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon issued his annual letter to shareholders expressing concern about the resilience of the U.S. economy because he believes it's being fueled by government spending. Dimon says spending is funded by rising deficits. The executive also said inflation and high interest rates may be around much longer than most people think. Dimon openly worried wars in Ukraine and the Middle East could disrupt energy and food markets. He also mentioned politics at home, saying highly charged political issues like border security could take a toll. Former President Donald Trump's net worth has dropped by $2 billion since Truth Social went public last month. Yesterday, shares of Trump Media and Technology Group dipped another 10%. About a third of the company's stock value has been wiped out since it peaked last month. The sell-off shrank Trump's stake in the company to just under $3 billion. That is down from a peak of over $5 billion the day the company went public. Some financial experts say the losses were expected because Wall Street overvalued valued the company when it went public. Goodbye dating apps. Hello, speed dating. Many people are ditching the apps in favor of meeting people in person. According to Eventbrite, speed dating has surged in popularity over the past three years. This comes as many singles, particularly Gen Z and millennials, have grown tired of scrolling the apps. Experts say it's a great option for those who make a better impression in person than they do online. And since speed dating requires more money and effort, experts say those who try it are more likely to take it seriously. Tax day is now under a week away. Of course, it's April 15th. Mark your calendars. And if you haven't filed your 2023 taxes yet, time is running out. Jen Sullivan breaks down what those last minute filers need to file on time and avoid any penalties. Time is running out to file your 2023 taxes. The deadline is Monday, April 15th. Everyone's taxes look different, but the most common documents you'll likely need to file are a W-2. That's your official wage and tax statement, which you should have received from your employer. A 1099, which are given by independent contractors to people like business owners, or if you've earned any interest from stocks or investments and or received any dividends. And a 1098 form, if you have a mortgage or student loan interest. The IRS offers tools to help you navigate through the filing process, and tax software like TurboTax and H&R Block can help you as well. It's going to guide you through and make those calculations. Well, it's seems like a lengthy process, it can help deliver you a nice return this year. According to the IRS, the average direct deposit return is $3,209. The fastest way to get your refund is to electronically file and to receive that refund through a direct deposit. Experts also say the worst thing you could do is not file at all. One of those mistakes that we see people make is they just get scared. And so then they, they put it aside and they say, no, I don't want to deal with it at all, which is about the worst thing you could do. And if you really need more time, anyone can file for an extension, but you must do that by April 15th. That will give you until October 15th to file. If you need to request a tax extension, you'll need to file a 4868 form, which you can find on the IRS website. That is irs.gov. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 617. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at today's forecast. Hi, Bill. Hi, Alexandra. I thought we would start with the allergy report. First of all, it's that time of year as the temperature is warm. Those pollen counts tend to increase and expect medium symptoms today and tomorrow for poplar and juniper pollen and high symptoms both days for tree pollen in general. Again, lots of cloud cover yesterday made it difficult to view the uh, partial solar eclipse around here, but some of you did have some success with some brief uh, pockets of clearing. This was in the Viroqua area. Thanks to Wanda for this shot. Uh, great shot of the moon in front of the sun there making the sun look like the moon <laughs> and uh, here was the view in Tomo, Wisconsin thanks to Megan for that and a close-up very nice close-up uh, from snow uh, in the new Lisbon uh, Wisconsin area again that uh, moon here's the moon in front of the sun and uh, it was about 84 percent uh, covered here in the uh, 
uh, upper Midwest in uh, most of Wisconsin and Minnesota. Uh, a few breaks in the clouds off to the west there, otherwise mostly cloudy. You can see a few breaks as we look off to the west after some uh, light rain showers at times overnight. 44 degrees out at the airport, 43 downtown, winds out of the west at 12, making it feel like 38. The Mississippi rising a bit, 5.52 feet. 42 for you folks in Eau Claire. Again, the streets a little bit damp still from the rain showers there. Winds out of the west southwest at 9, making it feel like 37. So temperatures generally in the upper 30s to mid 40s this morning, including 43 in Winona, 41 in Black River Falls, 40 in Sparta, 39 in Preston, and a couple of 37s in Decorah and Viroqua. Winds out of the west right now, 5 to 15. They could gust 20 to 25 miles per hour at times today, so still a bit breezy, and wind chills currently in the 30s for most. Now, those rain showers have now pushed into far northeastern Wisconsin and into the UP of Michigan. Still some leftover clouds locally as this disturbance continues to slowly uh, lift north and east and away from the area. But I'm expecting a mainly dry day with that mix of clouds and sun. Maybe some spits and sprinkles later today far north, but uh, most of us will remain dry. Clearing skies overnight tonight and then tomorrow, much like today, kind of a mix of clouds and sun and uh, dry. But heading into Thursday, we could see some uh, isolated showers move in from the west. And some of this moisture down to the south and east here may try to back its way into the area, especially east of La Crosse during the day on Thursday. Zone forecast showing high temperatures today, a little bit milder than yesterday by a few degrees, right around 61 or 62 degrees in the La Crosse area. Low 60s will be common down to the south. In fact, most of our 65 communities uh, will see highs between about 57 and 62 degrees. 59 today in Chippewa Falls, 60 in Eau Claire. So for today, mix of clouds and sun, still a bit breezy, 61 for the high. Uh, clearing overnight tonight, lows around 40. Tomorrow, even warmer, 68. That chance of showers and breezy. Also cooler Thursday, highs back in the 50s. Still breezy Friday, highs near 60. Look at the weekend, though. It's looking dry and warmer. 70 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday. That would be fantastic. And then uh, still pretty mild heading into next week. Small chance for thunder shower on Monday. A little bit better chance on Tuesday. And then some isolated showers possible next Wednesday as well. So, uh, boy, after our kind of cool start to the month of April, the next eight days are looking pretty good. Alexandra? Looking very good indeed. Thank you, Bill. The time now is 620. Still ahead on your morning news. Although you may have just woken up, you could already be dealing with some stress from the day ahead. Coming up after your morning sports blitz, we'll take a look at a few healthy ways to help you manage and cope with your stress. Brewers beginning a seven game road trip last night in Cincinnati, plus a few NBC rivals clashing on the diamond. I'll have all the highlights coming up in the Blitz. Introducing the revolutionary Elite Window, available exclusively at Clear Choice. Experience ultimate comfort and energy savings with this cutting edge window. With this unparalleled airtight seal that's 97% better than industry standards, you can say goodbye to drafts and hello to savings on your energy bill. Upgrade your home with the Elite Series windows this month with our buy three, get one free sale. Elite Series window, bringing you the best in energy, efficiency, and comfort. Call Clear Choice today. You know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back, I feel no pain in my knee. It is nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. And that's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. Attention parents and kids, it's time to build your future with Ultra Federal Credit Union's Youth Month Celebration. Open a new youth account with just $25 and Ultra will match it with an additional $25. But wait, there's more. By opening a youth account, you'll automatically be entered to win our Lego Grand Prize worth $500. Imagine the endless possibilities of what you could build with that. So why wait? Head over to Ultra today and build your future. Visit us online or stop by your nearest branch for more details. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. Federally insured by the NCUA. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order. Scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious! 
At Overhead Door Company, we repair any garage door and only install the best. Serving up to 100 miles outside of the Onalaska, Wisconsin area. When you need a door company you can trust with your life, call Overhead Door Company of the Seven Rivers region. Download the News 8000 app today. Welcome to the Blitz. It's starting to feel a little more like spring here in the Cooley region, and now our spring sports athletes can finally get on the field. We had two MVC rivals squaring off yesterday on the diamond. Let's go there. Holman making the trip to take on Aquinas at Seminary Field. Scoreless through two, but in the third, Blue Gold's playing some small ball. Runner on second, Isaac Shelfout lays down the bunt. Thrower to first gets away. That brings in a run. Blue Golds take the lead. Now 2-0 Aquinas, but Holman making a comeback. Bases loaded for Calvin Gilbertson. He lines one back up the middle. Only one run comes in. Blue Gold still in front. Then Holman doing some small ball of their own. Bases loaded. Squeeze the flip to home. Not in time. We're all tied at two. Blue Gold's not out of the inning yet. Bases loaded one out, but in comes Eddie Peters. And he was clutch. Check swing gets the K. Next batter, same result. Blue Golds escape the inning. And then in the sixth, Waylon Hargrove steps in with the bases loaded. He pops one out to right. Should be deep enough to score a run, and it is. Blue Golds take the lead, and they hang on for the win by a final of 3-2. to two. Home opener for the Riverhawks. They were hosting rival on Alaska. Dawson Lappick on the hill for Central. He's going to get the strikeout here. And then a nice play by Lappick on a slow roller. He's going to fire it over to first. A 1-2-3 inning for Central. But Caden Perzina dealing as well for the Hilltoppers. Two big strikeouts for the righty in the first. A scoreless frame for on Alaska. Let's fast forward to the third now. Hilltoppers making some noise. Ian Cole at the plate. He shoots one in a right field for the first hit of the game. Then with runners on first and second, Xavier Lawrence lays down a perfect bunt. The throw's a bit high. Here comes Cole with the first run of the game. That makes it one nothing Hilltoppers. And here comes some more. Caden Kokeisel, bases loaded, chops it back up the middle. Riverhawks nowhere to go. Landon Hubert comes in to make it 2-0 on Alaska. The bats would heat up late in this one, but the Hilltoppers spoil Central's home opener 14-6. Brewers opening up a four-game set in Cincy. The Reds red hot last night at the plate in the fifth, already 8-3 Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz gets all of this one. A solo shot makes it 9-3, but the Brewers battling back in a big way in the seventh. Christian Yelich takes one high and deep the other way for a two-run blast. Makes it 9-8. Milwaukee trailed 8-0 at one point in this one. But in the bottom of the inning, De La Cruz again. He's going to scorch this to center. Sal Freelick can't get there. And that's going to be trouble. De La Cruz can fly. That's exactly what he does. And inside the park home run, Cincinnati goes back up two. That's all the insurance the Reds would need. Brewers make it interesting, but they come up short 10 to 8. Twins at home hosting the Dodgers. Minnesota down one in the third, but Manuel Margot changes that. One swing of the bat, deep drive. That gets over the wall for a two run shot. Twins take the lead. Dodgers strike back though in the sixth. Will Smith. Drops one in here. Shohei Otani's going to come in to score. We're all tied at two. Then in the seventh, same score until James Outman gets a hold of this one. He hits it out deep to right. And that's going to carry over the wall for a solo blast. Outman puts L.A. back on top. That makes it three to two. Then later in the inning, it's showtime. Otani takes one deep the other way. And that ball ain't coming back. Otani's third homer of the year puts the Dodgers up two. That's all the insurance they need as they hang on for the win by a final of 4-2. to two. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. It's about passion. It's about achievement. It's about hands-on. It's in our history. It's in our present and future. It's time to explore what Chippewa Valley Technical College is all about. Find us online at cvtc.edu to see what's in it for you. 
Forget about scraping and painting, fretting and fixing, and enjoy the beauty and low maintenance of new siding, soffit, fascia, and gutters for your home. Seamless steel siding and vinyl siding in many colors. Enjoy outdoor living with a new deck and railing, with a pergola or patio cover for protection from rain or snow, or get protection from bugs and bad weather with a three-season porch. Serving your neighbors for over 30 years, superior products, superior installation, at prices lower than most others. Invest wisely. The Board Store Home Improvements prompt free estimates. Quality time! With Taco John's, you never forget the big moments. Like the moment when you devour your very first slice of Taco John's one-of-a-kind new taco pizza. Or your very second slice. Or your eighth. With seven layers of beefy, cheesy, fiesta saucy taco toppings atop a crispy oven-baked crust, this might even be the most momentous, meaningful experience of your life. That or your wedding or whatever, both are pretty life-changing. New Taco Pizza is here for a limited time, only at Taco John's. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. When you're ready to get out and prep your yard for spring, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with a $100 purchase of Scott's products. Save $400 on this 42-inch Husqvarna Hydro Lawn Tractor. Plus, tackle any project with these men's Carhartt Steel Toe Boots, $74.99. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. This day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest Horse Fair. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Welcome back. Put the salt shaker down for this one. A new study is finding eating less salt may help you live longer. After looking at over a dozen previous studies involving 35,000 patients who on average had a higher than normal risk of heart disease, researchers found taking salt out of your diet or using a salt substitute lowered the risk of dying early from heart disease. Currently, the American Heart Association recommends most adults, especially those with high blood pressure, ideally limit your daily sodium intake to 1500 milligrams a day. April is National Stress Awareness Month. While many of us don't need a reminder to be aware of our stress, it's a good time to focus on how to properly manage it because stress can have a significant impact on our health and overall happiness. Mandy Gaither has some healthy ways we can cope. We all feel it from our daily commute to juggling work. And can you just eat that pancake that you have right now? No. Family and schedules. <laughs> Stress is all around us. And while you can't control it, you can take charge of how you cope. How you think about stress can make or break the situation. If you perceive it to be a threat or a challenge can significantly impact how your body and your mind responds. Psychologist Susan Alberts with Cleveland Clinic says some of the red flags of increased stress include changes in your eating habits like loss of appetite or emotional eating, as well as changes in sleeping habits, sleeping too much or not being able to fall asleep. Other symptoms include headaches, stomach issues and mood changes. Life is continuously stressful, so investing in some stress management techniques can be a game changer for your physical and mental health. Albert says we can cope with stress by being active. She says exercise can help calm your mind and body, as can breathing exercises. She says what you eat can help, too. If you are chronically stressed, you can eat vitamin C rich foods to help mitigate some of the wear and tear that your body experiences from stress. Also, magnesium rich foods can be helpful. They help to regulate the stress hormones in your body and promote relaxation. 
Albert says another way to relieve stress is to make sure you're getting enough sleep. She says research shows between seven to nine hours every night helps restore your body and allows you to gear up to face the next day of stress and challenges. Never ends, does it? La Crosse City Council members are proposing to expand the ban on overnight camping to roughly 30 additional properties, including parks and trails. The new parcel includes Myrick Park, Red Cloud Park, and the Vietnam Veterans Trail. Last year, a new city ordinance banned camping on city property like parks and parking ramps. And last month, the city cleared out a homeless camp in La Crosse's River Point District. Now, a lot of the homeless population has moved to the marsh. It is not okay for anyone to be living outside and sleeping in the marsh um, or anywhere outside, in my opinion. But if people are okay with that, then we need to find an alternative location besides the marsh area. During yesterday's meeting, the Board of Public Works voted to refer the request to a later meeting date. The group will reconsider it at their June 3rd meeting. And we should know today who won the lacrosse school board election after an unusual race this year. While only two names were on the ballot for three open seats, seven write-in candidates came forward before election day. It's been a week now since the spring election. The school district still doesn't know the winners due to the high number of write-in votes that need to be counted. The canvas process where a small group goes through all the ballots to verify results started a day early yesterday. Usually it's pretty clear because the votes go into the machine and the machine counts them and the canvassers read off what's in the machine and we make sure the machine number matches what we have in our spreadsheet. This time, because we have the write-ins, we've got the machine numbers for the candidates that were on the ballot and then we have all of the write-in ballots as well. There were just under 9,700 write-in votes cast for this year's uh, lacrosse school board. The canvassers will have to count all of the write-in votes themselves and decide if misspelled names count in favor of a write-in candidate. Those results are expected to be announced before 4 o'clock this afternoon. Six community members are competing to be this year's Lacrosse Symphony Orchestra conductor wannabe. The winner will get a chance to conduct the orchestra during a spring concert. Each candidate has chosen a nonprofit organization to receive half the money raised during the competition. Deanne Romanowski and Brittany Walls are competing together and are supporting the End Alls Fest Foundation, which they founded. Romanowski says the foundation provides support to people affected by Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. To me, it's a chance to, you know, um, give people a better day. It is a really challenging uh, diagnosis. Every family member um, that we watch go through it, you just try to think of ways to make tomorrow better. To vote in this year's Conductor Wannabe competition, head to the La Crosse Symphony Orchestra's website. Each vote is a minimum of $2, and voting will end on April 29th. The winner and runner-up will, will conduct a piece in the May 4th SO concert. Our top-notch teacher tour making a stop in Vernon County this morning, where one man has been Mr. Dependable for a quarter of a century and counting. Top-notch teacher is sponsored by Viterbo University and Dahl Honda. Farge Middle School teacher Kurt Croninger enjoys the creative environment the classroom can bring. Whether he's covering social studies or math, young minds are always at work. Them finding a different way to get to the right answer. Kurt's overseen that learning process in Lafarge for 25 years. When you're in one place that long, you teach literal generations of families. It's kind of strange sitting across the table during parent-teacher conferences when you know, hey, I had this kid in, in class at one point, and, and then I think, boy, I'm getting really old. But his work ethic makes it seem like he's fresh on the job. Whether I ask him to take on an overload for an extra class, um, during afternoon break, he's taken his sixth graders out to set up the football field for a football game. Uh, he, he's piloting a math series this year for me. He just kind of, um, he's not afraid to take on whatever you ask of him as a teacher. He's found purpose in the classroom, something he wasn't sure he'd find as a high schooler in Westby. Wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I had one great teacher who, he asked me my senior year, what are you doing next year, where are you going to college? And I said, well, I don't know if I'm going to college. And he took me out of the class right then and he took me down to the guidance office and he said, we're going to pick out a college and, and at least find a place for you to start. That conversation got him to Winona State and eventually Lafarge. Kurt is now channeling that conversation into a new effort this year, introducing his students to local businesses. Trying to get kids thinking about careers and, and what they need to do to get to where they want to be in the future. 
He says the younger that process can start, the more knowledge those kids can have when it comes to decision time. Another way Kurt Kroninger can give back to a community he's happy to call home. When I first started here, I thought I would be here one or two uh, and then move on to something bigger and better. Um, and I've seen bigger, I just haven't found better yet. We have a lot of great people here. Those business field trips are a mix of visiting actual storefronts and having local leaders come into the school and chat with the students. Time now is 638. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at what to expect on our morning commute. Looking pretty good out there, right, Bill? Yeah, it is. We had some uh, light uh, kind of hit and miss rain showers overnight, so maybe a few wet spots on some of the streets and parking lots and sidewalks. But overall, uh, all is quiet this morning and uh, looking at, uh, well, this is uh, the Onalaska uh, Interstate 90 view and you can see uh, looks like somebody was pulled over. Wah, wah. <laughs> Hopefully just a safety check there uh, out on the interstate. Uh, drive cast for today, mix of sun and clouds and uh, temperatures a little bit milder than yesterday by a few degrees, still a bit breezy as well. 61 the high in the cross and you can see those light rain showers from the overnight have now lifted into far northeastern Wisconsin and into the uh, UP of Michigan. Current temperatures 44 in the cross, 42 in Eau Claire, 40 in Black River Falls and Sparta, some mid to upper 30s in Preston, Decorah and Viroqua. And again, a mix of clouds and sun today, milder, but still a bit breezy with highs in the cross right around 61 degrees. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast on the other side of the break, but coming up next in our buzz report, Woody Harrelson and Scarlett Johansson star in a new comedy drama about the space race. Uh, we'll have a sneak peek at Fly Me to the Moon in today's entertainment news. That's just ahead, so keep it here. We'll be right back. Attention homeowners, Mad City Baths is looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. And now be one of 50 homeowners who call and receive free installation on a new bath or shower with no interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate from Mad City Baths. They're very concerned about the job that they do and um, very professional and like I said before, very friendly, so I appreciated that too. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A-plus rating with the BBB. Our custom baths and showers are infused with microband for easy cleaning. Plus, with our price lock guarantee, receive a free design consultation and we'll lock your price in for one year. So pick up the phone, schedule your bath or shower installation and ask about Mad City's double lifetime labor warranty. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your estimate. Now be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify here at Mad City. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, in western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. The camper, it has been a reliable companion for your family's good times. But after years of use, it has shown some wear and tear. A broken window from an errant baseball, a couch that your dog allegedly chewed on, and an AC unit that doesn't work like it should. It's time to call Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. We have been improving your family's camper since 1970. Call us today and we will make your camper feel brand new. Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks, repair, refinish, remarkable. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. It's not an I thing, Dad, it's a we thing. Get a large two-topping take-and-bake pizza for just $10.99. Order now at papamurphys.com. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. 
To us, it's personal. Welcome back. A good Tuesday morning to you. It is currently 642. It's been a rather cool start to the month of April. In fact, taking a look at the high temperatures out of the La Crosse Airport, we have yet to uh, even reach 60 degrees thus far. And six of the uh, eight days this month have been above average. But I am expecting us to reach uh, perhaps 60 degrees today, and if not today, for sure uh, tomorrow. So some milder temperatures on the way. All right, clouds, uh, yeah, they hung tough for the better part of yesterday, making it difficult to view that partial solar eclipse around here, but some of you did have some uh, brief peaks, some success at getting a uh, brief glimpse of that uh, solar eclipse occurring. This was uh, down in Viroqua, thanks to Wanda for this shot. And then also in uh, Toma, Megan uh, caught a quick glimpse of the partial eclipse as well. You can see that uh, right in the uh, kind of patch of blue. And that was, the, that was the trend. You had to kind of watch for a little patch of blue near the sun and uh, uh, take that uh, moment, uh, you know, to try to get that shot as quickly as you can. And this is a great shot uh, near New Lisbon. A nice close-up of the moon in front of the sun, making the sun look like the crescent moon for a change with that partial solar eclipse. All right, we've got a mostly cloudy sky over downtown La Crosse right now. 44 degrees at the airport, 43 downtown at the station. Winds out of the west at 12, making it feel like 38. And the Mississippi rising a bit 5.52 feet. Again, we had some light rain showers overnight. Still some wet streets in the Eau Claire area where it's 42 degrees. And a uh, west to southwest breeze at about 5 to 10. So temperatures this morning, uh, most spots in the upper 30s to mid 40s, 37 in Barocqua and Decora for the cool spots, 43 in Winona, a couple of 40s in Black River Falls and Sparta. Winds out of the west right now, 5 to 15. They could gust around 20 miles per hour, maybe 25 today, so still a little bit breezy. And in the meantime, it is pushing wind chills into the 30s for most. Those light rain showers have now tapered and shifted off to uh, far northeastern parts of the state and up into the UP of Michigan as that disturbance slowly lifts north and east and away from the area, but again, still a bit breezy on the back side of it. Kind of a mix of clouds and sun this morning. More chances for sun this afternoon. Maybe some spits and sprinkles far north here later in the day and early in the evening, but most of us should stay dry. Clearing skies overnight, then a mix of sun and clouds again for tomorrow and uh, even warmer temperatures. And then heading into Thursday, kind of a squeeze play with some uh, small chances for showers moving in from the west. Some of this rain down to the south and east may try to back its way into parts of the area uh, during the day on Thursday. Zone forecast showing highs today, right around 61 or 62 degrees in the La Crosse area, upper 50s to low 60s down to the south, and uh, lots of uh, right around 60 to 62 degrees in many spots, 60 in Chippewa Falls, 61 today in Eau Claire. So still a bit breezy, mix of clouds and sun, 61 for the high. Partly cloudy this evening, clearing overnight, lows around 40. And then looking ahead, warmer tomorrow, 68. Breezy and cooler Thursday with that chance of showers, 57. Still breezy but dry Friday, 60. Warmer for the weekend. It's looking really nice right now. 70 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday. And then at least slight chances for rain next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The best chance looks to be centered around Tuesday. Could even see a few thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday as well. That's the latest check of my eight-day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with our Buzz Report. <music> Actor Jonathan Majors must attend a year-long in-person domestic violence program for the assault and harassment of his former girlfriend. Majors was sentenced yesterday. His case also included a non-criminal violation of harassment for which there was no punishment and misdemeanor assault, which was conditionally discharged. The actor won't serve jail time unless he violates the rules of this sentencing. Prior to the case, Majors was a rising star who appeared in Disney's Marvel franchise and Creed III. <clears throat> Taylor Swift's temporary channel on Sirius XM is now live, featuring music spanning her 17-year career. That includes Taylor's version tracks and live recordings. It's on channel 13, a nod to her famous lucky number. Her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, drops on the 13th day of its run, which is April 19th. That is 10 days for those of us counting. The channel will air around the clock across North America until May 6th. The whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. We need to shoot the backup version of the moon landing. You mean to fake it? 
Woody Harrelson's government flack convinces marketing maven Scarlett Johansson to stage a lunar landing just in case launch director Channing Tatum's team can't pull off the real thing. In the first trailer for Fly Me to the Moon, the space age comedy drama takes off in theaters July 12th. And before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. We've got Fran turning 80 years young today. She loves being around her dogs and loves giving back to the community. And Pat is turning 88. She is always the life of the party and loves to be around her five children, 13 grandkids and 26 great grandkids. Happy birthday to both of you ladies. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80 or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, News 8000 com and look for the submit pictures button right there on the home tab. Time now is 648. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is just after the break. At Ashley Springs semi-annual sale, you can spring into savings with Hot Buy $7.99 and under. Plus, shop our spring sofa sale with 0% interest until April 2029 on in-store purchases. Hurry in and meet the all-new Ashley today. Luther High School, a powerhouse in culture and academics. Our students are given the tools for high school academic success while also enjoying athletics, choir, and band. Our on-site industrial arts program provides advanced welding and advanced woodworking programs along with industry 4.0 classes. Luther High School is a Wisconsin parental choice school. All families who apply to Luther receive tuition grants. Your Luther High School, Christ-centered education, encouraging and preparing students for life. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Attention parents and kids, it's time to build your future with Ultra Federal Credit Union's Youth Month Celebration. Open a new youth account with just $25 and Ultra will match it with an additional $25. But wait, there's more. By opening a youth account, you'll automatically be entered to win our LEGO Grand Prize worth $500. Imagine the endless possibilities of what you could build with that. So why wait? Head over to Ultra today and build your future. Visit us online or stop by your nearest branch for more details. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. Federally insured by the NCUA. If you think it's expensive to hire a good window company, just wait until you hire a bad one. Don't get lured into cheap windows that you'll end up having to replace again in five years. Here at Clear Choice, we only sell the highest quality windows that we'd install in our own home, all backed by a lifetime manufacturer warranty and installed by our factory trained employees, not subcontractors. Upgrade your home with the Elite Series windows this month with our buy three, get one free sale. Choose a quality window that will last a lifetime. Call Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions today. Meet the all-new Ashley. Discover new styles in remodeled stores, offering everything you need to create inspired spaces from our store to your door. The new Ashley. It's the love of home. Four, three, two, one. Let's go! On the Jennifer Hudson Show, I turn the spotlight on you. Inspiring stories. You are changing lives. I can do it. That's right. The biggest stars. You have your own show. I love Jennifer. There you go. I just pulled up. You be flirting with everybody. You damn right. <laughs> and did I mention the surprises? I would have won my good wig. We face it four on News 8. Welcome back at 651. Time for your morning news now. President Biden in Madison yesterday announcing a new plan to count to cancel thousands of dollars of student debt for millions of Americans. The plan focuses on high interest rates, providing relief for borrowers who now owe more than their original loan was worth. The loan forgiveness would apply to people who've been paying undergrad loans for 20 years or more or grad student loans over the last 25 years. It also applies to those already eligible for loan forgiveness and for borrowers who can prove financial hardships prevent them from repaying their loans. I will never stop to deliver student debt relief from hardworking Americans, and it's only in the interest of America that we do it. And again, it's for the good of our economy. 
Some legal challenges to the plan are expected. The Supreme Court struck down a previous attempt by the Biden administration to forgive hundreds of millions in student loans. This smaller, more targeted plan will still require a month long public comment period before it can take effect, narrowing the chances it'll be implemented before Election Day. A shed fire in a West Salem trailer park damaged two nearby homes yesterday. According to crews, the blaze started about 5 p.m. in a trailer park off West Avenue North. They believe it was an electrical fire. Nobody was hurt, but the siding melted off two trailers on either side of the shed. La Crosse City Council members are proposing to expand the ban on overnight camping to roughly 30 additional properties, including parks and trails. The new parcels include Myrick Park, Red Cloud Park, and the Vietnam Veterans Trail. Last year, a new city ordinance banned camping on city properties like parks and parking ramps. And last month, the city cleared out a homeless camp in La Crosse's River Point District. Now, a lot of the homeless population is moving to the marsh. It is not okay for anyone to be living outside and sleeping in the marsh um, or anywhere outside, in my opinion. But if people are okay with that, then we need to find an alternative location besides the marsh area. During yesterday's meeting, the Board of Public Works voted to refer to a request to a later meeting date. The group will consider that list again during its June 3rd meeting. We should know today who won the lacrosse school board election after an unusual race this year. While only two names were on the ballot for three open seats, seven write-in candidates came forward before election day. It's now been a week since the spring election, but the school district still doesn't know the winners because of the high number of write-ins that still need to be counted. The canvas process where a small group goes through all of the ballots to verify those results started a day early yesterday. Usually it's pretty clear because the votes go into the machine and the machine counts them and the canvassers read off what's in the machine and we make sure the machine number matches what we have in our spreadsheet. This time, because we have the write-ins, we've got the machine numbers for the candidates that were on the ballot and then we have all of the write-in ballots as well. There were just under 9,700 write-in votes that were cast. The canvassers will have to count all of the write-in votes themselves and decide if misspelled names count in favor of a write-in candidate. Those results, by the way, expected before 4 p.m. today. Temperatures this morning starting in the low to mid 40s for most, although some 30s in Preston, Decora and Viroqua. Kind of a mix of sun and clouds for today. Still a bit breezy with west winds 5 to 15, gusting 20 to 25. Uh, highs in the cross though around 61. Even milder tomorrow 68. Little step back Thursday breezy and cooler. Chance for some showers 57. Still breezy Friday. Highs around 60. But look at the weekend. Looking dry and warmer. 70 on Saturday and low to mid 70s for highs on Sunday. That looks great, Bill. Thank you. Well, it was a perfect score for one local high schooler achieving the perfect ACT score. Morgan Amon is the first in GET high school history to get a perfect score of 36. When she saw her score, she thought it was a mistake. She showed her teacher and had them double check it, who then reassured her. Yes, she had in fact achieved a perfect score. Her advice to high school students taking the ACT is to learn where your weak spots are and focus on those. Also, be sure to keep cool and take a big breath. Another takeaway that helped her on test day is dress for success. I woke up early and I got really dressed up, did my hair, did everything, because my philosophy was look good, feel good, do good. And you know, it kind of worked, so. It did work. Although she has a lot of opportunities ahead of her after graduation, she has her sights set on attending UW-Madison to study nursing and then eventually midwifery. Congratulations to her. And thank you all for starting your morning with us on News 8 Now this morning. Enjoy the rest of your morning, and we will see you back here at noon.